Good evening, everybody. Joe for Jaspie's Hobbyland doing our last break of the night. We've got some, we're gonna close out with some optic. Optic football, pick your team number 10. We did one early today, and now we're gonna do another one people liked it so much. I like it too. Strong break, nice way to finish things. There's the case. Here are the people involved right here. There it is. On Tuesday, today's not Tuesday. Have I been writing Tuesday on all these things? No, just this break. Man, I am all, what's going on? There it is, on a Wednesday right here. King D with the Bears, last spot mojo. Got a few teams at the very end. There's everybody right here. No, big boys tell us I'm done for, for reals, for reals. There won't be like a, ah, oh, well, unless Flawless Baseball sells out. No, there's no, no tricks, no sales tricks this time. No, this time, definitely done. This, this break will take us right to the end anyway. I've got three more nights to go. So I gotta, I gotta balance out the energy for the rest of the week. All right, here we go. Good luck, everybody. Thank you for filling this one up. We've got six boxes on each side. We've got one autograph per box on average, and there are uh, some hot boxes as well, which is something to look forward to. All right, good luck. This is box number one. Um, I will post another Optic Football after uh, after this break is over. Yes, Rubio, sorry, I forgot to do it before the break. Now it's too late, I've already started. I don't have a pause button on here. Um, our old broadcasting software was not good because it always crashed our computer, but the, the one thing I did like about our old broadcasting software is there was a pause button. I could just pause in the middle of a break if I had to like, get like a glass of water or if I had to do like whatever, you know? But now, I can't. So everything's just live. Live to tape. Because we, we record it and then upload it. So it's live to, live to tape, as they call it in the industry. But I will post it after, um, pick your team, after this Figure Team 10 is over. All right, so what, what, Andy, what are you looking for? You're looking for a Neon Deion Sanders Cowboys edition or Aikman out of 10. Okay. That's not. That's actually pretty nice. There are usually like a couple of those per case. A nice, uh, a nice vet or retired player autograph that'll pop out of here. I think we've seen like a Drew Brees redemption in, in the previous. I think a couple cases ago we saw one of those. There's case hits too, which are usually relic autos. Sometimes we've seen. So there's usually like two hot boxes and then a case hit. Sometimes we've seen three and no case hit. Sometimes we've seen three hot boxes and then a case hit. So you never know. All right. Good luck, everybody. Here we go. Start off with Illusions. 24 out of 149, Corey Davis, Des Bryant. That'll be a randomizer between those two teams. The other non-numbered Illusions cards will be randomized left or right. We've got a gold Gerald Everett. I guess the autographs are going to be facing front on this one. Gold Gerald Everett for Tim H. and the Rams. That's out of 10. 3 out of 10. Nice. This is an early hot box. It is Malachi Dupree. Rated rookie on card autograph for Steve Freeze and the Packers. 48 out of 50. Le'Veon Bell, Gridiron Kings to 149. That'll be for Michael Gallucci and the Steelers.
Stacy Coley for the Minnesota Vikings. Vikings autograph going to Dan Maddox. Thirteen out of ninety-nine. Orange Corey Coleman out of one ninety-nine for the Browns. That'll be for Phil. We got Evan Ingram Blue, 21 out of 149 for the New York Football Giants. Uh, Mike Magor, right? Did I get that right? 38 out of 50, Derek Carr. I think I kept saying it Magor. No, he's like, it's Magor. Oh, how about Awuzi? Hey, Awuzi. That guy. Part of, part of that great cowboy secondary, Andy Garner. There you go. That's out of 25, I believe. Yeah, 6 out of 25 on that one. Nice, nice autograph for Andy Garner out of the first box. There's Jordan Willis, 267 out of 299. Golden Tate for the Lions, that's 278 out of 299. That'll be for Nick Stanley. Uh, this fans of the game, since it's just an NFL shield, it'll be randomized to one person in the break. It's always a number of randomizers spend it by the end of this break. I will sleeve and top load all of those uh, all those parallels before they are shipped out. All right, next box. Good luck, everybody. Just glancing through some football news. Looks like Sam Darnold from USC declaring for the draft. Josh Rosen uh, at US, uh, UCLA. Sam Darnold at USC. Both of those guys declaring for the draft. Packers making some changes we dump a couple key offensive assistants. Bears interviewing Vic Fangio for head coach opening. I'm not sure, quite sure. We... Marquise Lee remains out of practice for uh, for the Jaguars. Broncos hiring Sean Kugler as the offensive line coach. Sheldon Richardson expects to be expects to be uh, back with the Seahawks. Not sure what else, what other news is happening. I mean, basically, the big player news that everybody's waiting for is Lashawn McCoy, right? Is he? Is he? Will he or won't he? I guess I think as of this morning, I don't know if anything has changed today. Let me know if it has, ladies and gentlemen. But as of this morning, so it's, it's only just five minutes past ten o'clock in LA. As of this morning, game time decision. Might be that way through the rest of the week. All right. Next box. Good luck. Illusions. So these will be randomized left and right. Solomon Thomas for the 49ers out of 299. That'll be for John Picard. Gridiron Kings. John Ross for the Bengals out of 149. There's James Conner Gold. 10 out of 10. Rated rookie card. Nice one for Michael Gallucci and his Pittsburgh Steelers. Seal Curtain in the YouTube chat. Christian McCaffrey out of 149. 14 out of 149. So these ones are just regular 
Rated rookie cards are not numbered. There's Deonta Foreman. That's your autograph. Rated rookie on card auto. TK with the Texans. Nice. 73 out of 99. We got Jeremy McNichols. 190 out of 199. Sean Watson, man, that, that pretty much derailed the Texan season. But if he comes back strong, watch out. I feel like the AFC South could be up for grabs. Dak Prescott, blue, 147 out of 149, parallel for Andy. Other fans of the game. Blake Bortles, 28 out of 99. Blake Bortles has quietly had a nice season. He did did enough to get to the get to get the Jaguars where they need to be, playoffs. And a chance to win a playoff game too. For the first time in what ages? Well, the uh, I think we went over some uh, some early lines for the uh, for the playoff matches earlier this week, a couple nights ago, or last night that is. And I don't think much has changed. Tennessee. I think we just went through what just like straight up who people thought would win, but Tennessee is uh, the Titans are at Kansas City. Kansas City is minus eight and a half. What do you what do you think? Kansas City is minus eight and a half. Home favorites by over a touchdown. That's a tough one, I think. That's, I think that's a tough line. Tennessee defense. It's pretty good. You know, the dynamic Marcus Mariota, you can Run around, make plays. You never know what's going to happen there. So there's like kind of a wild card element there. That Tennessee Titans running game, pretty good. Got a pretty good defense too. They could, they could surprise the they could surprise the Chiefs, I think. But if the Chiefs are minus eight and a half, it makes it a little bit different. The over under looks like it's about. 44. Uh, that, that, we'll have to think on that. What does everyone think? If it's Kansas City minus 8.5. It's minus 8.5 at the Westgate Superbook in Vegas. Another left-right randomizer. Any guesses on this redemption? There's you like that. 46 out of 299. Redskins, that'll be Scott O'Donovan. There's Sidney Jones. Eagles out of 149. That'll be for Ryan and the Fly Eagles Fly. So Andy's saying, I told my friend if the Chiefs make it to the Super Bowl, I'll buy him a bottle of whiskey. You think you think you're safe? Yeah, I don't think they're gonna get through like the Steelers or the uh, or the or the, or the Patriots. I think if it comes to that. Kevin Crouch guessing James Conner on that redemption. There's 84 out of 149. LaShawn McCoy, that'll be a big, important player. That's for Karen. John Ross, the rookies. Card, 44 out of 149. Bengals, that'll be for King D. DeGruce saying 
He'll take the under on that game and take the spread against the Titans. There's Jeremy McNichols, rated rookie, 89 out of 99. Red Iron Kings, Aaron Rodgers, 46 out of 149. And the redemption is going to be, wow, Tice, you got it, you guessed it. Rated Rookie Autographs Hollow. I don't know, I forget what the hollow is number two off the top of my head, but that's Kareem Hunt. Sweet Kareems are made of these. For the Chiefs, TK with the Chiefs, nice. So, sorcery bragging rice for Tice. All right, next box. Um, fart, PH Art 07. Phil, what's, what do you mean what's wrong with those Dolphins cards? You saw a Tannehill in there? Uh, if I breezed by it, that probably means, um, probably means it's not numbered. If it's an insert, it'll ship. If it's just a regular card, uh, it won't ship. DeGruche saying, Titans will win or lose by a touchdown. Or less. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to think on that game because I'm thinking of uh, thinking about putting a little action on some of these playoff games. You know, it's, a, it's fun. So sitting here thinking uh, that minus eight and a half seems like a lot. I am thinking of taking the under, though. The under seems like it would make sense. But the, the confusing thing is, is you don't know which Chiefs team you're going to get. You're going to get the Chiefs team that that was on fire at the uh, beginning third of the season and then finished strong at the last third of the season. Or you're going to get the Chiefs team in the middle of the season that just that just couldn't, their just offense was sputtering, they just couldn't do anything. Something just wasn't working right. Uh, no, veteran base, as it says in the item description, veteran base does not ship. If you look at the item description, it'll say, it'll give you the idea, um, no vet base ships. So, for example, this does not ship, that won't ship. This ships because that's a refractor. That'll ship because it's an insert. That will not ship. That will not ship. This will ship because it's an insert. That will ship because that's a rookie card, RC. And these will not ship. And Ryan Switzer, 121 out of one, what, 50? Yeah, out of 150. Nice. On-card autograph for the Speedy Ryan Switzer. That goes to Andy and the boys. Samaj P. Ryan, 26 out of 50. That'll go to the Redskins. Looks like, a, looks like it's a hot box. Chris Wormley for the Purple Birds. That goes to Big Boys, 007. Thirty out of ninety-nine. Joe Williams, the rookies, one thirteen out of one forty-nine. That goes to the Niners. That'll be for John P. There's Nathan Peterman, not numbered. 
This might be numbered, Matt Ryan. It is 133 out of 149. That is for Andy and the Dirty Birds. Malachi Dupree rated rookie out of 199. That'll be for the Packers. That's for Steve Freeze. And points. We'll randomize those to one person in the break. All the points go to one person. So it's a winner take all situation. That's how we've been doing it. I like that slight change. Evan Ingram, one of the bright spots for the New York Football Giants out of 299. And that'll be for, for Michael M. Magor with that. All right, next box. So DeGroosh was saying earlier, seeing a couple minutes ago, you don't know what uh, Titans team we're going to get out of this. This is true. Although you can, I guess you can expect the Titans to... I think they have a pretty good front seven, I think, right? I know they've got a they've got a good running game. You can expect them to run the ball. Try to control the game that way. extra strong there. <laughs> so this is Pick Your Team 10, folks. Once this break is over, I will be posting Pick Your Team number 11 on the website, jazzpiecehobbyland.com. So be sure to check that out. Plenty of other football, baseball, basketball, even some soccer and hockey on jazzpiecehobbyland.com. So check it out. We'll be back tomorrow. So this is our last break of the night. This will pretty much take us to the end of the show um be back tomorrow three o'clock pacific six o'clock eastern we broadcast from tuesday through saturday 3 p.m pacific to six or to 11 p.m pacific that's 6 p.m eastern to 2 a.m eastern right there you go that's what i thought the titans have one of the best rushing defenses in the league right so what happens if they uh if they can stifle kareem hunt a little bit or maybe forcing Alex Smith to throw more often. You know, if, if they can if they can play a, a, a solid game, limit Kareem Hunt, control the game with DeMarco Murray, Derrick Henry. Possible. I don't know about upset. I'm not I'm not about to I'm not ready to call an upset on that game, but But, I mean, Chiefs are minus eight and a half, some, minus nine in some places. So that might be interesting to take to take the Titans with those points. Out of 129, Josh McCowan for the Jets. That'll go to Tim H. Uh, that's a 30 out of 99 Saints edition of Adrian Peterson. Greg Olson, 20, uh, 26 out of 50. That goes to King D and the Panthers. Jamal Williams, 67 out of 149 for the Packers. Got Robert Davis, red for the Redskins, 42 out of 99 for Scott. Jamie Collins for the Browns. Fill it with that one. 77 out of 99. And there's the autograph. 21 out of 49. Aaron Jones. Blue. 
Steve Free with the Packers. Jamal Williams Blue, rated rookie blue, 94 out of 149. Nice parallel for the Packers. Steve Fries with that one too. And there you have it. All right, and the Titans secondary, not too bad either. So I think I think you're on the right track, DeGruz. We'll discuss this more throughout the week. But I think you're on the right track. You know, maybe maybe the maybe Kansas City's not gonna win by over eight and a half, because they're minus eight and a half or minus nine in some cases, but maybe they won't win by over a touchdown. Maybe you take the so maybe you take the Titans and the points. And then maybe take the under on that game. That'll be interesting. We'll keep discussing uh, throughout the week. So stay tuned. Shaspyshobbyline.com, especially during our football breaks. Um, Let's talk about uh, this. Is I think th I want to get everyone's thoughts on this. Brave or Braves, Atlanta Braves, Atlanta Falcons at the Los Angeles Rams. Atlanta Falcons at Los Angeles Rams. The Rams and their new new look offense. Their team is just completely different now. Um, but the Rams are minus six and a half. Minus six and a half, and the over under 48 and a half. And one last note on that uh, Tennessee KC game. DeGruy saying that, hey, the last two times uh, these teams played, Titans won in Arrowhead, 16 to 13, around there. Now, Connor is saying Rams. And he's a big Vikings fan, too. He can't wait until next week to see who they play. Um, Tice also saying Rams. Is this does uh, does anyone have any concerns that this might be a, a sort of trap game? You know, do, do the do the Atlanta Falcons with their uh, with their playoff experience do they somehow fire it up? You know, maybe the Rams crumble under the pressure a little bit. Maybe the Rams are on a on a playoff mission. Then again, a lot of complaints about uh, the Rams' offensive coordinator Steve Sarkeesian. Who will actually be coming back to his uh, the job that he got fired from? Actually, the USC job had a bit of a bit of an issue with with alcohol, unfortunately, and I think that precipitated a lot of things that led to his departure. But uh, he'll be back in LA, back to the old USC stomping ground. So we'll see what happens. Uh, I mean, Cooper Cup will be part of that attack. There's Dwayne Smoot. 215 out of 299 for the Jaguars. So, Connor and Tice, you'll take the Rams and you'll lay the points minus six and a half. They'll win by over a touchdown. Ah, see, I'm, I'm, I get, the more I think about it, I get nervous about that game, too. I'll take guesses on redemptions as well for bragging rights. There's Zach Cunningham for the Texans, three out of 25. That'll be for TK and the Texans. Yeah, Connor's like, I can see it happening. Tyson's like, yep, that, that, that's what they're saying. Over a touchdown, or touchdown, at least by a touchdown. And the extra point. It'll be interesting, I mean, I don't know. That guy's no slouch, though. DeGruch also saying he'll take the Rams by more than six points, and he'll take the over. I think I'll, I'd take the over, too. I like the Rams' defense, but... I like the Rams' defense, but I think... Uh, I think the Falcons could really put something together. 105 out of 199. Tariq Cohen, 42 out of 99 for the Bears. That'll be for King D, last spot mojo. Try to find him an autograph out of here, too. Corey Davis, red, 20 out of 99. Nice rookies insert. 
Nice rookies insert for Nick Stanley and the Titans. Just talking about the Titans a few moments ago. Jeremy Hill, 71 out of 199. Bengals, that'll be King D. There's Cooper Cup, there's P. Ryan. All right, the redemption. Tice is the only one guessing. He guesses Watson, a Deshaun Watson redemption. That would make TK very happy. Let's see what we got. It's going to be... Oh, his ears were red. Ears were burning. Rated rookies autograph red. Cooper Cup for the Los Angeles Rams. Now, I'm, I actually want to look up this red parallel, unless someone knows off the top of their head. What well, that's number two, but let's see. Rated rookie autographs. Card 179. Cooper Cup. So Cooper Cup's originally out of 150. The red is out of 50. So out of 50. Rams. There you go. Tim H. with the Rams. Nice. Nice Cooper Cup. He could be a legend after this playoff game. All right, we're halfway through this break. One, two, three, four, five, six boxes to go. You're welcome, Tim. Thanks for getting in the break. So I think we're on, we're on track. We've got a solid half hour to go. Halfway through this hour long break, so we are on track. What does everyone think about this one? Yeah, no case hit yet, Andy. Uh, Bills at Jacksonville. Buffalo Bills at Jacksonville. Well, minus, uh, the Jaguars are minus eight and a half. And the over under is 39. I think I would take the, uh, I would take the under and I would lay the points, especially if LaShawn McCoy is not playing. I just don't know if, that, if, if Tyrod Taylor and those receivers are really are really clicking. But maybe, well, Connor's saying I can see it being pretty close. I see a lot of people saying it's gonna be pretty close. But I have a feeling that like, uh, like there'll be like that un, an untimely turnover or two that'll get them to, you know what I mean? I don't think Blake Bortles is gonna be is going to be leading the way to that minus eight and a half, you know, for the Jaguars to score more than score nine points, basically more than nine points more than the Buffalo Bills. I think like a like a a pick six, a fumble recovery for a touchdown, that kind of thing. So Ty's taking the Bills. Connor's saying it's pretty close. Degru says Bills and over. Even, even even with a well, I mean at the, a game even with a game time decision, LaShawn McCoy, Brian. Oh, that's interesting. I know Jacksonville hasn't been really playing that strong the last couple of games leading into the playoffs, but I think that defense is just gonna be too overwhelming for the Bills. There's Samaj P. Ryan. 17 out of 50. Connor saying, hey, I'd guess the Jags, but it'd be fun to see the Bills win. I think I would agree with that. I think Bills are a nice kind of underdog team to to root for if you are if you have no dog in the fight. That's nice. Juju Smith-Schuster. Will he be a legend after the AFC Divisional round? So Steelers will be waiting on to see who they face. 16 out of 99. That is for Steel Curtain. Michael Gallucci with that on-card auto of Juju Smith-Schuster. Nice. There's Jay Ajayi for the Dolphins. That's for Paul Hart. 112 out of 149. There you go, Paul. That's a nice insert there. We'll try to find you some autographs. 
There's usually some Dolphins autographs hi hiding out in here. See, maybe, maybe you, you, maybe you pick now. You lock in that minus eight and a half, assuming that the that Lashawn McCoy is not going to play. <laughs> Jared Davis, 143 out of 299. It's for the Lions. That'll be for Detroit Nick Stanley. Got a nice red Ezekiel Elliott, 96 out of 99. That goes to the Cowboys. That'll be for Andy and the boys. Solomon Thomas for John P. and the Niners out of 149. Illusions, Kareem Hunt, Priest Holmes, 42 out of 149. Rated rookie, Leonard Fournette, 92 out of 99 for the Jaguars, and that'll be for Mark. Mark N with that. Uh, no, we don't have any more NT's 2016 NT football at the moment. All right, nice Juju Smith Schuster. And DeGroosh was saying, well, listen, if McCoy plays, Bills and the over. If he doesn't play, Jags and the under. I mean, I think even if McCoy does play, I, I, don't, think, I don't think he's going to be 100%, which is a shame. I mean, I, 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 you always want to see full-strength teams going into the playoffs because you don't want anybody saying, ah, well, if only if only so-and-so wasn't injured. I, you know, and injuries are part of football. I get it. But a lot of times, you know, and it's true. It's a lot of times it's the healthiest team that ends up winning it all, right? But you want to you want to see all those starters healthy. That's that's what you want to see. Just because just because I want to be able to say, you know, it's like my Raiders win the playoffs. You know what I mean? I want to be able to say, like last year, I want to be able to say my best, like your best beat my best, or my best beat your best. You want to be able to say that. I guess it doesn't always happen that way, but that's what you would like to see, I would hope. So kind of a shame to, to, to see uh, LeSean McCoy hobbled a little bit. But is it? It certainly is exciting to have playoff football around. Sad to see the regular season go. Sad to not see my Raiders in there. But I guess uh, if the Raiders get Gruden, which pretty much seems like it's going to happen. Kind of makes the uh, takes a sting out of the regular season a little bit. Mike Glennon leads us off. And we've got, well, just right out of the gate, Brad Kaya, rated rookie autograph. Hot box maybe? It's early for the autograph. That's Lions, 106 out of 150. Uh, that'll go to Nick Stanley. There's my boy Derek Carr, 48 out of 99. Richard Sherman, who's talking about you? Crabtree. 112 out of 149. Tice with his Seahawks. Uh, Jamal Williams for the Packers at a 299. That'll be for Steve Freeze. There's Greg Olson for the Panthers, 004 out of 149. 
Joe Flacco for the Ravens, 239 out of 299. Purple Bird, that goes to Big Boys 007. Jamal Adams, Jets out of 149. Jets going to Tim H. We got the Nigerian Nightmare, Christian Okoye, 66 out of 149 for the Chiefs. TK with the Chiefs. Nathan Peterman, John Ross. Closes this box out. There you go. We are chugging along here. Four boxes to go. Good luck, everybody. Four boxes. Final four boxes. All right, another game. The last, uh, the last game for this wild card weekend. Uh, Carolina, the Panthers at the Saints. Saints are the home favorites at minus seven. Some places have a minus six and a half, but most seem to have minus seven. The over under line is at 48 and a half. Ty saying Saints, do the Saints beat them three times in a row? And over a touch by over a touchdown. I like six and a half. I don't know if I like seven. It's a subtle difference, but it's enough to make me think. But Tice is saying Saints, Connor is saying Saints, DeGruy saying Saints and over. Blue line though is saying Panthers lose by four but goes over. So he's saying Panthers will cover. You know they'll lose, they'll still, they'll still cover. Uh, DeGroos is predicting 35 to 31 Saints. Uh, which actually would mean the, the Panthers would cover that. Saints are minus seven, though. Ooh, that makes me nervous, too. I don't know. I don't, li I, I, I don't like betting on that game. The only, bet the only game that I have any kind of confidence in is that uh, is I, I really do think that, that Jacksonville is just going to easily take on the Bills. But just do the Saints just have the Panthers number? Do they just have see the and the Saints defense is so good too. Panthers defense isn't bad, or Panthers offense isn't bad. You know, but I think so much relies on the shoulders of of Cam Newton. You know, if Cam Newton has a poor game, you know, that's kind of it. There's Alan Hearns for the Jaguars out of 199. But hey, a lot more news and a lot more information will come out this week, so I'm sure that we'll, uh, a lot of opinions can change based on what information people will get. Probably won't make, lock, we're not going to really lock in our final picks until Friday. There's Joey Bosa for the Chargers. Chargers just missing the playoffs. CJ Beathard. Out of 99, C.J. Beathard just missing a starting job thanks to Garoppolo. I don't think C.J. Beathard's going to see that anytime soon. Uh, we got the juice, O.J. Howard. Rated rookie on card autograph. Nice one for the Buccaneers. And there you go, King D with the Buccaneers. Some delicious, delicious O.J. 001 out of 150. Tack McKinley. 26 out of 99. Looks like there's a little, a little dent right there. I don't even know if that's a dent. Looks like maybe some sort of smear in the uh, printing process. But that goes to the Falcons. That's for Andy. There's Drew Brees. It's kind of amazing. Drew Brees can now rely on a reliable running game. Very strong running game. 
stronger than before and a strong defense. He doesn't have to use his arm as much, which is actually a good thing. So yeah, Cam Newton, we'll see what he can do. Lamar Miller for the Texans at a 299. We got Zeus. Do they really call him Zeus? 60 out of 149. I don't think I've ever heard that actually for Travis Kelsey. Lights, Camara, and Action. 240. 40, sorry. 40 out of 299. And we're down to our third to last box. I don't think we've seen a case hit. How many hot boxes have we had? If we see a th if we see three hot boxes, sometimes they don't do a case hit, like a relic autograph. But I don't know. We'll we'll find out. We'll find out. There hasn't been a super consistent pattern to that. Well, it's not guaranteed. I think a, a, some sort of case hit is guaranteed, but you may consider that the third hot box. Well, I don't know. We'll see. Just one? I thought we saw at least... I don't know, because there the, there's a four autograph hot box. And then there's the hot box that has like two autographs and then points. Maybe just one? Or was it just that one? Maybe two. I don't think we've seen a third. Right, we'll find out. We're going to find out soon enough. Tim says we have two. Ty's like, wait, yeah. Ty's like, wait a second. We did have two. So we just had two, right? Not three? Okay, so then we either get a third hot box or a Relic Auto case hit. Or both, if we're lucky. Good luck, everybody. Almost done with this break. Should take about another, oh, about 10 minutes or so, 10 or 15 minutes to close out this break. So we are almost there, probably about five, five minutes or so a box. I'm kind of slowing down a little bit. It is late at night. But I appreciate everybody digging deep and filling up this break. Let's finish strong. We got Adam Shaheen for the Bears. Maybe another hot box. It's early for an autograph. Bears, that'll go to King D. Last spot mojo with a hit. Matt Ryan, I like the old retro look on this. Out of 149 for the Dirty Birds, Nandy. There's Zeke, Zeke Elliott for Andy. Out of 299. Oh, it is a hot box. There's Joe Williams, rated rookie on card autograph. Looks like it is hot box three. Uh, John Picard with the Niners. There's Marlon Humphrey, Ravens. Purple Birds going to Big Boys 007. Should be at least one more autograph in this. This hot box. And it's Chad Kelly for the Broncos. A little opposite Joe Mojo for Steve Freeze. There you go, Steve. Pretty sure Steve's a Broncos fan. Kind of a disappointing season for both the Raiders and the Broncos this season. AFC West was kind of weird this season. Chad Hansen to catch a pass out of 299 for the Jets. 
to catch a predator is Chris Hansen. We got our Darius Stewart, orange, out of 199 for the Jets, Jets, Jets. We got Josh Reynolds, rated rookie, 14 out of 149 for the Rams, Rams, Rams. Tim H. Terrell Suggs for Big Boy 007. That's a big boy out of 99. And Lights Camara action. 59 out of 99. They're going to need some action from Alvin Camara to control that game. Can the Saints beat can the Saints beat the Panthers? Three times in a row in the same season? Do the Saints really just have have their number, or do, do the odds say the Panthers can figure out a way to beat them? Don't know. All right, we're down to our final two boxes, boys and girls. Almost there. Stay on target. I'll rip both boxes at once so we can fly through the end of this break. We've got a handful of randomizers to do, and then we'll see... Uh, who gets who gets what, who gets the points and whatnot. Also a transcendent baseball giveaway. So if you bought at least two teams in this break, then you got a shot at a transcendent baseball spot on jazbeeshobbyland.com. We are marching closer and closer to that break. I'm hoping we can do uh, the at least a case of transcendent baseball before the end of the week. So keep an eye on that on jazbeeshobbyland.com. I would encourage everyone to just buy a spot, especially in that one hundred and fifty-five dollar break, because that's the that's the spot that we're giving away. So in this break, we're giving away a one hundred fifty-five dollar spot in two thousand seventeen tops transcendent baseball. You're guaranteed something. You're guaranteed something out of that case. You might even get the case, which is a, I believe a wooden case this year, which I think is pretty sick. And a chance to get an invite to the Tops VIP party that's being held in Atlanta, Georgia this year. Their special guest is Hank Aaron. That party is coming up soon. I think it's just a couple of weeks. So if you're in the area, you can go, obviously. Or if you can't, you can obviously try to sell it to somebody in that area ASAP. It should be uh, should go for a decent amount of money. All right, here's the second to last box. Slide that over really quick and let's rip open the last box. We'll have another case of this available on jazbeeshobbyland.com, so be sure to check that out. Like I said, this is the last break of the night, so once I'm done with this and the randomizer, exhausted right now, calling it a night. This is a good thing though. If I, if I leave, if I leave a, if I leave the break table exhausted, that means I know, okay, we had a great night of breaking. Got to pull a lot of stuff, got to rip a lot of packs, and that's always fun. So thank you very much, everybody, for your time and your support. I really especially appreciate it when everyone sticks with me through these hour-long breaks. I know it takes a while, but hopefully we keep things mildly entertaining, keep the interest up during this break so it's not too boring. You know, some, some of the other guys, I feel like, just sit there kind of quiet as a stone, just opening up an hour worth of breaks. Doesn't sound like fun. We try to have a little bit of fun here, so appreciate those who are into that. Thank you very much for your support. Jaspyshobbyland.com. I've not seen the case hit yet. That kind of felt like the case hit. Maybe it's still just a blank card. I don't know. Or maybe that third hot box took the place of that case hit. I have no idea. So you're just gonna you're gonna find out in about ten minutes, folks. <laughs> is that even legal there? Tice. It's here. It is in California now. All right. Good luck everybody.
All right, there's Drew Brees. 171 out of 299. We'll see him this weekend. Squaring off against the Panthers. Their rivals. It's not too often you see division rivals play in the playoffs, right? I don't think that happens too often. And we've got C.J. Beathard out of 75. Rated rookie autograph for the Niners. That'll be for John P. We'll see, uh, we'll see Todd Gurley in action. We'll see what he can do. There's Blake Bortles, 77 out of 199. We'll see what he can do. Poor Carson Wentz. Actually from, from Connors College right there. How great is Kamara though, Bruyo is asking. He is, he is great. First round in fantasy? I mean, late first round, maybe. Corey Coleman, 16 out of 25. Black Refractor going to the Browns. Fill up with that one. Le'Veon Bell. Well, this guy's definitely a first rounder, right? Out of 149 in fantasy next year. I had a terrible, terrible fantasy season this year. Out of 199, Juju Smith-Schuster, rated rookie card, going to Gallucci. Michael, I feel like if you ever find the one of one of that, that would be a cool rainbow to build. Blue Line says maybe Kareem Hunt. Yeah, I could see that too. You can make a case for that. 37 out of 99, another illusions for the Steelers. Ryan Switzer for Andy, rated rookie, 119 out of 299. And here comes the last box. Good luck, everybody. One more autograph to go, possibly a case hit. But we did see three hot boxes, so there's Alan Hearns out of 199 for the Jaguars. That'll be for Mark. Gridiron King, CJ Beathard, 16 out of 99. And there's Nathan Peterman, our last autograph. Rated rookie autograph for the Bills. Karen Steele at the very end, at the whistle, in the dying moments of this game. 32 out of 35, Nathan Peterman. Manuel Sanders for the Broncos out of 299. See, it wasn't trolled. I thought there was going to be a case in there, but I think that third hot box took care of that. The Juice OJ Howard, 111 out of 149. That is for King D and the Buccaneers. Frank Gore for the Colts, 44 out of 50. And that'll go to Jeremy Merle. There's Joe Flacco. We've got a red Big Ben, a.k.a. Big Ben. 98 out of 99. There's Juju Smith-Schuster, 54 out of 99. Another blank card. And looks like that is that, folks. Ooh, thanks very much, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. Thank you, everybody, for getting into Optic Pick Your Team 10. I'll be posting Pick Your Team 11 as soon as I'm done with this recording.
Hey, no worries, Brio. Thank you very much for hanging out, man. Yeah, Tice. I had no Seahawks in that one, huh? All right, so we got left, right, randomizer, and then we got the out of 149, which will be a separate one. I'll randomize all the names. Name on top will get 150. Second and third name will get. We'll each get a fans of the game Chris Berman card. Rumbling, stumbling, bumbling, <laughs> rumbling. Back, 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 back. That's my uh, that's my Chris Berman impression. It's pretty good. <laughs> one, two, three. I need four randomizers. One, two, three, and four. So I need three blank, four blank lists. First one is for the left and right. Next one is the numbered. Um, what is it called? Not mirror image. That's something else. That's a different product. Illusions. Uh, Titans, Cowboys. That's numbered out of 149. Everyone gets a shot at the points and the Chris Berman. Rumbling, stumbling. The Raiders. Back, 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 back. Uh, and then Transcendent. So anyone that bought two, at least two teams... Like Andy, like Dan, like King D, like Karen, like Nick Stanley, like Ryan, like Steve, TK, and Tim H. All have a shot at a transcendent baseball spot on jazbeeshobbyland.com. A $155 value. This is the best odds I've seen. There's 16 total, potentially 16 total entries. One spot, or if you buy at least two teams, it's one entry, one entry max per person per break, blah, 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 blah. Nine. There's only nine on this list. That's the best odds I've seen. So good luck to you nine right here. We're going to randomize all the lists the same time, the same number of times, eight times, six and a two. Good luck. Good luck left and right. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Right side, the strong side. So all the right side teams will get them. It's the same front or back, but all the right side teams will get them. This one is out of 149. So that'll be Titans and Cowboys eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Titans with that one. Nick Stanley with the Tennessee Titans. You get the Corey Davis, Des Bryant illusions. 24 out of 149. Everyone gets a shot at that. Remember, six and a two, eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. Rick Hunt with the 150 points. Dan Maddox. You'll get one of the Chris Berman fans of the game's card, and Ryan, you'll get the other one. And last but not least, this is the big one right here. Six and a two, eight times for the Transcendent Baseball spot on jazbeeshobbyland.com. If you win one, you should buy one. Uh, maybe. House money. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. Name on top. Congrats to, wow, King D. King D with a spot in the Transcendent Baseball break on jazbeeshobbyland.com. That's the 171 spot break. That's a $155 value. So there you go. Congrats to King D. Thank you and congrats to everybody. Thanks for hanging out with me this late at night on jazbeeshobbyland.com. Really appreciate it. We'll see you next time. 3 o'clock Pacific, 6 o'clock Eastern. Bye-bye.